uh, Nigerians will, will not be distracted by uh, what uh, Ashiwaju Bola Metinubo is saying. And Saraki is not our problem. The problem of Nigeria currently is the fact that Nigeria is the capital of extreme poverty in the world, the fact that insecurity has attained an alarming proportion, the fact that the ship of our state is heading towards a very, very deadly cyclone, and the fact that it appears that the country has no leadership. These are the things that are in the minds of Nigerians. will not be distracted by that. However, even if we want to situate whatever the current discussion in the realm of politics, let me say this. Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Inubu at a point in time was at the receiving end of some certain uns unsavory development within the APC fold. We saw some of his food soldier who wrote articles who came on TV, including Channel TV, I mean, speaking in a very, very violent manner against the current administration. Now, if Saraki has also shown disaffection by the same administration, it means that it's something that's supposed to be shared. I had expected that uh, Ashima Jubala Ahmed Tinubu would have been able to write to Saraki and say, look, um, I've also once suffered whatever you are suffering currently. It's just that I will not be able to leave this party simply because I'm committed to this party. But I don't think the fact that Saraki had left uh, APC for PDP should, should be a, a, a concern of Ashima Jubala Ahmed Tinubu. His preoccupation should be how to salvage a nation that is is heading towards a major disaster. His preoccupation should be how to galvanize the Southwest Front and see how we can salvage Nigeria. It is not Saraki, it's not our problem, it's not the issue. And let me say this, and if within the realm of politics, probably they've made their own match in somebody like Saraki, uh, uh, if you looked at it, there are like two coalitions fighting uh, the, the, the Senate president, the Tinubu coalition, the APC coalition, and I think they've made their match in that man, but I don't want to go into the realm of that contest. And I also saw the statement issued by the spokesperson of uh, 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 APC today saying that uh, 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 Saraki would better rule in hell than to, serve in, uh, in, than to serve. And let me also say this, if Nigerians may not know, there is also that tendency that the current president may not also run in 2019. All these are silence which by within their own party and they should look for a way to be able to manage this rather than agitating us with pedestrian politics. And it's also unfortunate that we have some prominent Yoruba leaders who are coming on TV to do this anti-Saraki thing. When it's supposed to be preoccupied to show the light to some of us young people who are coming from the Southwest, I'm so ashamed of some of these things. I see them, prominent professors who we had respected for decades, coming to come and doing this anti-Saraki uh, poster. It's totally uh, unfortunate. Dr. Carol this is sorry if I'm in. Let's give uh, some time also to Dr. Carol Ojubo to react to some of these issues. Uh, Dr. Ojubo, when uh, the likes of uh, Aminu Tambu, the governor of Sokoto said, uh, reacting to say, look, the reasons why uh, Chibola Tinubu is saying what he said was because they opposed his ambition to becoming the vice president. And uh, the Senate president of Bukala Saraki is also saying something similar to that. Uh, is, is this uh, some kind of personal vendetta or some kind of uh, fight back on basis of ambition? Thank you very much, uh, Sean. Uh, just uh, permit me to digress a little bit. Uh, the gentleman here was talking about uh, restructuring. And uh, uh, a lot of people get this issue of restructuring very wrong. Uh, the Constitution prescribes how this country should be restructured. And it squarely is lies on the table of Bukola Saraki. So if anybody is going to com uh, complain about restructuring, the president and the executive, they, have no, they hardly have no function to, to, to perform. If you like, uh, organize constitutional conferences and everything, at the end of the day, it will land at the National Assembly. And then there are uh, members of the National Assembly from uh, Arawa, uh, uh, from Arawa group, from Mohaneze, and from uh, Afenifere. So what they need to do, of course, is what they should do normally, and then take a bill to the National Assembly for the restructuring, and then if some National Assembly will look at it, and then that is how it is, constitutional amendment. The president cannot on his own, with and caprices, start to talk, uh, restructure the, the country. The party as APC, they have done what they're supposed to do. They support restructuring, and they have set up a committee to look into it. And they are putting together the legislators to um, ensure that the restructuring as as agreed by the people of Nigeria is achieved. That's number one. Number two, the, the issue of uh, 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 the position of uh, Saraki and, uh, and Tambua. Let me make this very clear. What Asiwaju said is very obvious. To try and give a dog, a, a dog a bad name, that is why these two gentlemen started bringing up reasons for which they want to leave. 
The reason they want to leave is that they want to try their hands and their luck in, on, in a PDP to contest the presidential election. It's as simple as that. But is there if anything like bad in that? Bola, Tinugu, uh, name Dr. Dr. Ojibo, is there anything bad in them having the ambition to run against the president? At all. And, and the Bola Tinubu has not said that what he has not condemned them, he has not used rough, uh, uh, bad languages on them. What he has just said is that, look, they, what they should have done is, look, I want to leave the APC because I, I know I will not get the party ticket to run for presidency in APC. Therefore, I'm leaving the APC to PDP because there is vacancy there. Let me go and try. And that's all. That's what the Bola Tunubu has said. So if you like, call Bola Tunubu names from now till next tomorrow. It does not change the fact. And Bola Tunubu is a man. There is nothing, there's nothing he hasn't seen in this country. Let me tell you, he was a senator. He's been a governor. And he, has been to the, he knows the chambers of the National Assembly. He knows all the processes. He's a party leader. He has taken part. In fact, was the foremost uh, uh, front, uh, front, front participant in producing the president of this country. The, the vice president of this country comes from Asuaju's a table. Right, uh, he has produced Dr. Ujibo, plenty of governors. We're out of time, time, Dr. Ujibo. He, he, Let me allow uh, Mr. Ari Atoye in just 30 seconds. With what we're seeing on the ground and what the, the actions and the reactions, uh, the allegations and the counter-allegations on the table now, it does look like the issues of ambition has been mentioned severally. Uh, in, in truth, uh, Mr. Saraki, Mr. Tambuwal, are they too much for President Buhari in 2019? Yeah, you see, let me quickly say this. Uh, um, uh, she, a man becomes me not by what he has done or by the tax he set for himself. I mean, man becomes a meat, not by what he has done or by, by what he has achieved, but by the tax he set for himself. This is purely about ambition. And Tinubu himself, Ashwad Bulat Ahmed Tinubu, has his own ambition. Uh, my my Ogara also has his own ambition. What I'm saying is that what Ashwadu has just done is just a waste of public space. You shouldn't be agitating Nigeria with pedestrian politics. This is not the time for to do that. We should get serious. Saraki has his own ambition. Tambuala has his own ambition. There is nothing bad about All having right. an ambition. We need to go because that we're was out of time. But I must thank you, both of you. Uh, Dr. Karo Jubo, uh, a member of the APC, and Mr. Ari Atoye, a member of the PDP, thank you so much for your thoughts, gentlemen, on the program today. That's our show for today, everyone. And thanks for being part of it. Bye-bye.